Hey, welcome back again guys. Uh, today we are going to briefly show you how to basically set up a raid array. Now, we've got Cameraman's lovely server here, as you can see it, right there. And for this we are using a physical third party raid controller. We have a High Point Rocket Raid 620 adapter. It is, of course, a two port, so it just supports two standard drives, unless you were to throw some SAS cables or something in there and expand it, but once again it is PCI 1X slot. It supports RAID 0, 1, 5 and 10. Okay, so RAID array stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks. And that pretty much means that a group of hard drives can be combined together to be one large hard drive or a backup of another drive cloning, things like that. Uh, pretty much for today's video we are going to be showing you how to set up a RAID 0 array. Now RAID 0 means that a bunch of hard drives come together to be one gigantic hard drive or a group of hard drives depending how many you want to combine as one. The problem with RAID 0 is if a drive dies, a single drive, you lose all data on that RAID array. But what we're pretty much doing today is because the reason why we're doing that is because the data that cameraman has I have too so if a problem goes wrong we can just copy it back over. Okay so we can actually see inside the case now we have our RAID card here plugged in and ready to go We've got our standard SATA cables coming out and down to these two drives here, which are two 2 terabyte drives. And now we're going to take you step by step on what you would need to do using this RAID controller or any similar RAID controllers on how to set up a RAID 0 array. Alright, and now we're actually back to installing the drivers and everything for our operating system. Now we've got our driver disk in the DVD drive as we've seen here, we can plug that in. And now we are ready to install. So the first thing that Windows has done when it, it has booted up is it has detected it. And I'll actually show you here. We go into Manage, Device Manager, and we can see right there it's detected it. But there is no drivers for it. That is why we have our driver CD and we're ready to go. So we can actually see on the driver disk we have, found, we have located our proper operating system as you can see up here. Windows. Windows 7, 32 or 64 bit, we've got 64, so we know our drivers are right there. Now there was no exe file, so what do you do? Well, once we've already we've already read through the readme, but that can help you too. But what we need to do is we need to tell this where the drivers are. Okay, so we can go update driver software. Ooh, where do you want to search for driver software? Well, I want to browse my computer because I know where it is. Okay. So let's actually have a look. Now, yeah, let's CD drive, drivers. Got a Rocket Raid 620. Running Windows, Windows 7, 64 bit. Now, so now I'm telling it where the drivers are, actually are, so they know where to browse. Okay, so now we click next. And while that waits, it'll automatically update our drivers. Okay, yes we want to do that. Yes we want to install. So the computer will now take those files that we saw over here and automatically install them for us. Instead of actually having to use an exe file, which is handy. Okay, so now we can see that our Windows has successfully updated my driver software after a few minutes of just doing that. Okay, so now we can click close. Now, do I want to restart my computer? Yes, I do. Okay, so now that we've actually booted back into Windows, we can see that we've installed our drivers before over on there from our disk. So we can see our RAID management utility with our, that came with our High Point RAID card. So we're going to run that. It's going to open up a browser window. Okay, there is a problem with your certificate. That doesn't matter, just click continue. Because it's only localhost anyway. Okay, now for our Username and password, the default is RAID for this particular card, and the password is HPT for high point. Enter. Okay. Now, since this is our web management RAID utility, we can actually see our drives there through our browser. So we're going to go back up here and create the array. This is the same as you can do. So we'll just double click our drives down here. RAID 0. Select all. Ray zero, okay, and create. Okay, it has been created successfully. Okay, now let's actually see if it's shown up. So we go to start menu, right click my computer, manage, disk management. 
now that we've seen our computer management pop up and we've gone into disk management, we can see we have an initialized disk. So pretty much if you read down here, it's telling you the overall, the overall of this is telling you to do, if it's larger than 2 terabyte disk total size, you'd have to use this option here, which is GPT. So we click OK on that. And now we should see our RAID array there. New simple volume. OK, there's our total size there. Click next. Just click a random letter if you don't if you wanna have it as anything, we'll have it as S. What do we want to call it? We'll call it the data bunker. Okay, that should be all good. Form a quick format. Hit next and hit finish. And then we can see down there it is formatting our RAID array. So that shouldn't take too long. And then we'll be able to see it pop up in my computer. So let's just wait for this. Since we're doing a quick format, it doesn't really take all day and all night. Okay, so we can see it's done there. And down here it's popped up. Data bunker. So we'll close that down. And we're going to go into my computer by clicking Start and Computer. And right there is our RAID array. So you can see 3.63 terabytes. That is two, ter two, two terabyte disks combined here into the RAID card. So that's pretty much all you need to do to set up a RAID 0 array. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more.